this traveling memorial is an excellent way to familiarize yourself with the scale of sacrifice and commitment in military service during the Southeast Asia War. Uh, this is getting on to half a century ago now, but many of the veterans are still with us. Of course, their families are. And this traveling tribute is an excellent reminder of the commitment and service of all those veterans. This traveling wall has more than 58,000 names of those who were killed in service in Southeast Asia. And that is a sobering reminder about the cost of service. And coming here to the museum, you can learn a lot of stories about the value of that service, why people have done this, and the cost that, that they paid for that. This traveling memorial is an outdoor reminder of that and a good place for people to gather and share memories about that, particularly families. The ideas of healing and recognition come together in a traveling thing like this because not everybody can get to Washington to see this, but they can share it here kind of vicariously. And it's a good moment for families and relatives and veterans to come together to remember, to recognize, and to share all that together. American Veterans Traveling Tribute will be here at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force from today until the 21st of August. So you can see this, it, it's outdoors and it's, the weather will be beautiful all week. And this is all wrapped into um, other things that we're doing to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the Air Force. By the way, in our fourth building, you can see what is called panel 44. That is a real panel from the wall that was actually made but never installed because it had a crack in it. But it gives you an excellent idea of what the panels of the real Vietnam Wall is like in Washington. So I urge you to go and see that as well.